Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you just for opening up your hearts and your mind to the different possibilities of positive things just heading towards your way and just knowing more about your gifts and how you can be able to use them in a positive way. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift and how it is, you know, just impacted your life in a positive way. Or it sent you into a negative world spin, and, but it sent you to a positive direction. Or if you feel like the video is just gave you some good insight or just gave you good vibes and you feel like, hey, you know, I got a loved one or friend that might need to hear this, go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And the beautiful music I am listening to today is peaceful, relaxing music, nature dreaming, soothing, relax, deep natural calm peaceful sleep star 22 and i will post that link in the description box below and the video i'm doing today is twin flame 101 empaths thank the people that hurt you and i know some some people are like what are you talking rosalind if you only knew what i went through i understand i don't know your situation but i do understand and you have to thank the people that has hurt you because we have went through so many things and if you want to went through the hurt and the pain that you have went through the things that you acknowledge that you know that could have really mentally scarred you or emotionally scarred you sexually scarred you you have to thank those people that has done these things to you because trust karma does have its way of turning those tables but number two it's just the fact is you wouldn't have known the things that you have known. You wouldn't have gained the strength and the confidence you would have gotten, would have gotten if you wouldn't have went through the things you went through. You know, I experienced a lot of things in my life and, you know, it has been very hurtful. Things that, you know, I still have a hard time processing that, you know, hey, your family did this to you. Hey, this thing happened to you from you know your exes your, your ex fiance you know your family and you know close friends and you know family friends that knew about things and still didn't say anything but it was like I, I, I had to thank them even though when, when he even comes to my ex fiance he'll look at me and start laughing like what are you talking about why are you thanking me for what and it's just like if I wouldn't have went through the things that I went through with him you know, I wouldn't have gained that strength that I was, you know, was looking for. Um, just to know that, you know, even though you you did the utmost worst things, you can, you know, just not even want to even comprehend that you can do to a woman. Um, that I know another person would never be able to do me that way. And even if I was to come across somebody who was like that, I would know what to do. I would know how to pursue it. I would know how to just disengage <laughs> and go about my business. And it was like, you know, watching like Diary of a Mad Black Woman. If you ever seen Tyler Perry's movie or play, you would know that that woman went through so much. And, you know, I almost had a similar situation except I didn't get put out my house or anything like that. But going through things like that, it, you know, it can really make you bitter towards the world. It can really make you look at people a lot differently. And it's like, it's not for you to go through those things. And I know it's just like, Rosalind, how are you going to say this? Because, you know, the things that you went through could be the unimaginable. And you had to get your strength from that. You know, and sometimes it can make the heart, like, cold. And, you know, I'm sorry for anybody who had to go through something like that. Because I know, you know, it's just like, if I feel like somebody has rubbed me the wrong way, or I feel like there's this there's a situation that is 
reoccurring, but it's just with a different person, I will back away so quick. There's people that know that I've walked out of their lives just because, you know, I've been down that road. You know, I, I, I deserve better. And it's just like, it's not for me to keep myself closed off from society, but it makes me, you know, try to learn people more. Even though, you know, our bad habits are as an empath, we always try to find the good and the positive towards every situation. You know, maybe you're hoping maybe they can see the light for me, they will change. But people won't change unless they're ready to change. They can't do it because of another person. They have to do it because of themselves. And you have to be able to thank that because it's just like my family, with them doing the things that they did to me, I would have never got to meet you. And I would have never known these you know, mystical things about myself, all these gifts that I had that, you know, they tried so hard to tell me that, you know, I could go to a mental, mental institution for, or try to shun my gift off as being something working of the devil, or something like that, and, you know, and it's a blessing to be able to experience all the beautiful things from all the hardship that I had experienced through life, and it's just like, I thank them for that, you know, even though there's some days that, you know, I'm still grieving and, you know, still trying to forgive because that's a lot to forgive somebody for, especially if you're, you're remembering stuff that, you know, I, you know, you suppress from and you have to keep saying, you know, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to acknowledge what I went through. I'm glad I'm not suppressing the things that I ran from because they hurt so bad. Um, I'm proud that, you know, I'm able to get that strength when I felt like I couldn't, ha I didn't have it in myself, you know, find that self-love that I have for myself, and it's just like, you know, if I had that urge to actually talk to my family again, you know, I would say thank you, you know, even though they put me through so much pain and sorrow, I mean, I mean, look what I'm doing now, you know, I'm pushing out videos, I have a book coming out soon, you know, just of the life of knowing of who, just because of who you related to, you were punished for it, but I felt, I, I got so much love for myself, even though I was getting it from all over the, you know, the, the planet, you know, through spirit and through, you know, energies that I didn't know was coming from, and it's just like, the more and more I meditate, the more I sit here and, you know, just think about the things that I've been through in life. It made me appreciate the sorrow and the, you know, the, the days that I went through rage, you know, trying to figure out why would my family do these things to me? Why would, you know, the person that I was supposed to marry do these things? And, you know, it, it was all a lesson of life that I had to go through. I mean, it, it, it gave me strength where I felt like I, I didn't have it, you know, self-love for myself because of the things that I've seen as growing up as a teenager or, or you know, or just coming into an adult, I can look back and now and there's no way in hell I would have did those things because I didn't care about life. You know, I put myself in predicaments where I could have been seriously hurt or, you know, worse. And it, it was just like, it was a wake-up call. You know, I have to thank the things and the things of going through, you know, the pain and sorrow that I, you know, I had to endure just to, you know, find a positive light through everything that I went through, and I have to thank those people for it, thank them, you know, for being, you know, uh, hurtful towards me, because they didn't want to see me, you know, prosper from anything, you know, I got those people out of my life, but I gained strength from those, you know, because it, I'm like, the, the worst thing you want to see me do is give up, and that's, you know, I'm, I don't have to get revenge, it's just the fact of me still thriving and surviving from things that were sent to break me, you know, is, is allowing me to push out something positive towards the world to see, towards the world to know that, you know, you're not by yourself, you know, you can get through anything that you, you know, that has been thrown at you, knowing that life sucks sometimes, but it's not always going to be that way. And, you know, it, it, it's a beautiful feeling to have that, you know, because, I mean, with my situation, it's just, like, so scary because it's, like, it's different when I'm making videos to y'all. It's, it's, like, my 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 subscribers, my extended family is starting to grow at a rapid pace now. There's more people that are listening to the truth and, you know, opening up themselves to different things to know that, you know, there's a label for the characteristics that falls behind your, you know, your path or, you know, your gift or anything like that. It, it's a good thing that you, that I'm able to project, 
you know, even though I had a, a negative upbringing and exposed to negative things, it brought down a positive impact in my life. It, it brought me towards a positive direction. And knowing that I'm blessed to be able to, you know, when I feel like I have love from the universe, I can give it out to people unwillingly. I mean, you know, just willingly, not unwillingly, but willingly and selflessly. And it, it's just like I was just, you know, earlier today, you know, you know, even though people might laugh at you just by saying thank you, and it's just like when you see people are out there just being devious towards you, just tell them God bless and allow the universe to take care of it. You know, people hurt people hurt people. You know, they'll go out their way to try to rumble you up just because that's how they feel about themselves inside. And, you know, it, it's not a, it, it's not, you, you know, some people say, oh, it's business, but it's never personal. It's always personal, especially if somebody take personal jabs at you just to see how far they can go or just see how much they can take advantage of you. You have to be able to stand strong, find that confidence in yourself, be thankful for everything that you have experienced in life. And you, you tell the universe, thank you for allowing you to be able to experience this, but also allowing you to have that courage to get up again, to get up in the morning, to be able to take that shower, brush your teeth, just go out in nature and, you know, get dressed and be able to tell the world, you know, hey, I'm here. You know, even though despite of everything I've been through, I'm here. So, you know, I know you, you probably went through some traumatizing things as a child or during your adult, the adult stage in your life. But knowing, like I tell you all the time, there's a purpose behind these things. You have to be grateful for also the, the good things that come in your life because if you, you don't appreciate the bad things that you experience in life and you learn from those bad things, you won't be able to appreciate the good things that are coming towards your way. So keep that in mind. So I hope you are able to get something out of the content of this video. Um, just know that better days are coming for you. Your final destination, your current situation is not your final destination. Blessings are truly coming your way. And if anybody has hurt you in the past, trust me, you know, those tables have a funny way of turning. And karma does not discriminate towards anyone, if you shall see. So, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line, I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or just give me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorites or with your loved ones and friends. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you truly can. Know that you are blessed and highly favored and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Much love and light to you and namaste. Peace and be wow.